All right, I'm fucking back, baby. <sighs> Thanks for the resub. Degenerate noodle in the prime forgotten. And the resub Duggity. Um, is telling me that I can't control him anymore and um, that if I really, you know, if I really wanted to try the prime to king, him, then he's like taunting me to take the bottle from him. Uh, if I really, if I really want him to stop, why don't I, why don't I take it from him? Go on, go on. I kept saying go on and kind of gesturing with the, the bottle towards me. And uh, like he does that two or three times. I reach for it. He revoke it, kind of laugh at me. And he's holding AJ, out Jocko the and Sneaky. bottle. I think like maybe the third time or so, I get a hold of it. I pick it up and I slam it down on the ground right in between us. There's a tile floor, a white tile floor. And I smash the bottle on the floor. Damn. And that really set him off. So stupid. Um, sorry. I, he's. Um, it was like a light bulb switch went off. He starts screaming. Um, it's usually kind of hard. Like unironically, it's actually kind of hard to break like a real vodka bottle. Like in college, I have dropped that shit a thousand times drunkenly, and it never breaks. Those things are built to last. She must have really slammed that shit down with authority. Thanks for resub rancid, and churd. Like that must have been like a full blown fucking grunk spike. I don't know if he backhanded me or hit me normally. I don't. I I don't really recall, but I remember it sent me down to the ground. Um, I remember by the time I picked myself. Off the floor, I stand up. He's got a bottle in his hand. And he threw it at me. It missed, thankfully, but I kind of pulled myself back into the bar area. I don't know how much time passed, but at some point he had a broken bottle uh, up against my face, neck area. What? By my jawline, and he told me he'd carve up my face. What, was he a member of the cartel? What, what are you talking about? I couldn't tell you what sequence wise when that happened, but it was terrifying. It wasn't the first time he said that to me. He said that to me on the plane as well. Um, but this time he was holding a broken bottle to me. Uh, I, I, I honestly don't remember if I... Um, Threw anything in his direction. I I don't think I did. Um, I just remember him having me by the nightgown. Interesting. She can't um, remember, remember the severed finger. Him flailing me, throwing me around. I'm flailing. Um, I, this is after you some snipe, um, there were some bottles the broken fire. on the floor. Uh, some slot this grunting. is actually after. You dilt, dilf. Again, forgive me. I wish I could remember the sequence, but it's flashes. He's throwing these bottles at me. Um, I remember retreating. There were also cans, like uh, soda cans, beer or soda cans. And they're coming at me one after the other. And I keep pulling myself into the bar area. There's a bar behind me in like a, I don't know, like an L shape. He's standing in the only way you can exit. So I'm kind of trapped in front of this sink, surrounded by bar on three sides with him in front of me-ish. Kind of front off to this off to the left. This doesn't really make sense. If the guy's gonna lose his mind over a single bottle of alcohol being broken, I fi I find it very hard to believe he would start throwing tons of alcohol at her, wasting even more. Like that's that doesn't really match the behavior she's established. And he's throwing these bottles one after the other, and I can feel glass breaking behind me. I remember feeling um, one of them go by my head really fast. I mean, the, a, velocity, a real velocity. I remember being terrified. I remember I couldn't move, zine, I couldn't go tier anywhere. One America, and the prime rests. I eventually, I'm trying to, I don't know, he ran out of things to throw. I think that's how I moved myself towards the exit. 
And I believe that's most likely when we got kind of in this struggle by the bar area um, because I, I remember my feet slipping on the tile as he was slamming me from the wall to the countertops. At one point he has me up against the, the wall and he's punching the wall. He um, had my you know, nightgown and it kind of ripped it off my chest. I remember when how he, strong he is he taunting me that I, he has my just ripped fabric uh, off from the chest in his and hand. like Hulk Hogan. Uh, my nightgown came completely off. It was ripped off of me. So I was naked and I'm slipping around on this tile and trying to get my footing. And I remember slipping on this tile of glasses underneath me and I remember just trying to get my footing you know I felt really destabilized and felt really vulnerable I'm naked and he's flinging me around and at some point I'm up against the wall and he's screaming at me that he f***ing hates me that it ruined his life Johnny became um, upset with me for <sighs> wow he, he, he was you know, I couldn't... It's crazy how nothing she says is even, I like, remotely anything. believable. Um, so far, the it. only thing she said in any of her statements we've seen so far that I genuinely believe is the truth is, uh... What was it about the, um... Johnny... She was talking about how Johnny drank a lot of alcohol one time and, like, peed himself or something. Like, I totally believe that. And that's, like, the only thing so far. I forgot what it was. It was it him drinking and peeing himself? It was something like that. Oh no, no, he uh, he vomited and slipped in his vomit. I think is what it was, or some something like that. Something like that. And it's like, yeah, that makes sense. And the way she told it, like that, very well may have happened. But everything else she tells is if she's writing a script for some kind of over-the-top CW show. You see the pic she used as evidence. Only the text messages. Has she used anything besides text messages in that one video where he's slamming cabinets? Thanks for the five gift subs, Ollie. Appreciate it, man. In the tier one, Snickerdoodle, tier one, Quinton, and the resub, hi, Moses, Jesse, and JF. She said he, she said he shit himself and had to clean it up. That's what you agreed with. <laughs> yeah, that I believe. Thanks to Prime, JJ. Oh wow, she can't remember anything she did, but Johnny apparently put dynamite in her purse and set up an anvil booby trap. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah. Thanks <laughs> to the resub thick. The Prime smoke and the bits copy anything to him about the drinking if I didn't acknowledge it it got worse if I did acknowledge it it was my fault and I was nagging and I get it um, you know I wouldn't like to be told what to do either so but it made him really angry and the kids were in in the in, on this press tour and I was just concerned about them I was concerned about them hearing us Johnny sc screamed at me in the hotel room and all I could think where the kids were in an adjoining room what if they could hear us? You know, I, I had just met them and I didn't want them to think. I promise you, if this happened, they me. could. And they would have said and something, I imagine. Hate me, not knowing what was going on, you know, in our behind closed doors. I, I just, um, I remember him, it was name calling and he eventually passed out. Do you recall what name she called you? Do you recall what he said? Uh, you I Jacob heard at this time, nagging chair. bitch, nagging bitch all the time, called me. Uh, he even said that uh, he made a mistake uh, with me, and <clears throat> that he didn't want to. That when we touched back down, he'd get rid of me, and I'd go back to. Look at her proof of injuries. You'll be shocked. Let me see. He like shocked as in like these could be real stories, or shocked as in wow, that's horrible evidence. Like everything else she's shown. 
would it come up if I type this? Police officer reveals how Amber Heard faked her injuries. Is this her evidence? <laughs> Just a police officer <laughs> debunking her? Where is it? Amber Heard psychologists admit Johnny Depp suffered severe injuries. Amber Heard can't even hire a psychologist to back her up. So where is it? Judge makes Amber Heard cry after presenting fake evidence. That surely that's hyperbole. Because she can't cry. She is literally unable to produce tears. To establish that, Mr. Depp has to prove the following elements. He has to prove uh, the publication of the op-ed and that it was written by Ms. Heard. He has to prove that the statements in the op-ed were both false and defamatory. And he has to show that no, the statements were made with the requisite intent. In this case, actual malice on the part of Amber Heard. Now, the evidence adduced thus far, Your Honor, shows that Mr. Depp can't sustain a claim on these for two reasons. Court should grant the motion before, strike because clickbait. the undisputed evidence is that he did, in fact, use Amber. The court should deny defendant Doesn't Amber Heard's motion to strike here. because Mr. Depp has come forward in his case in chief with multiple credible witnesses, documents, and authentic tape recordings of Ms. Heard herself, not only satisfying all of the requisite elements- Wrong video, this one's old. Well, where the fuck is her, uh, pictures, then? Is it Amber Heard looks like she's having a hard time in today's- gone, gone back to LA. Johnny was sick. Um, after having passed out on the plane. So I took her to dinner. Um, we went to Benihana's. She had to take Lily Depp out to dinner for her birthday because Johnny was having one of his episodes. Her lawyer asked- What if you have with Mr. Duder's communicating- Say- Okay, I'm assuming it's not here either. Just Google the injuries? Okay. What do I type in? Injury picture? Toss? Is it actually toss? I doubt it. Oh, here, let me see. Hold on, also, quick text message. Let me see. Not toss at all. All right. I don't know what I'm looking for. She said she broke her nose the night of the 2014 Met Gala and look at the pics of the next day. Is the prime mega perils? I don't it, bro, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to google. She went on James Corden's show the day after she said she got beat up. What a double whammy. Imagine she actually did got beat up and then went to James Corden. I bet going on James Corden would have hurt worse. Jesus Christ. What a terrible fucking week if that was true. Yeah, I don't see anything about these pictures, man. I know the black eye picture from... That's what started the whole thing on People Magazine, right? That's really what started the entire thing. Amber Heard bruised face.
Yeah, I've seen these. This was like the People Magazine stuff. Amber Heard reveals fight that Johnny Depp called the disco bloodbath is court shown photo of bruised arm. That's the one we saw yesterday, right? With a random arm bruise. If it was even a bruise, I guess. So is it that? Thanks for your sub operator and mercs. Okay, I'm sure okay, I'm sure by just watching these clips we'll catch up and see it. Actually hold on one more text message real quick. said some disgusting things to me. I don't okay. know if I need to repeat it. When you dropped me off in London. Okay, I'll go to the timestamp. Here, I'll queue up the timestamp real quick. I want to finish this one though. He so go to 650 bottle. on the full video of today's trial. Hey, Asmin. Asmin Esquire. Okay. to move the like i said maybe oh, wait, you can super chat the law and crime network <laughs> wait what do they say in the super chats smear say the poop might talk press one if agree <laughs> so they're just super chatting the law and crime network here for memes all right all right Okay, we did see this one, I'm pretty sure. Maybe a day or two later, um, and uh, my broken nose. All right, thank you. Michelle, can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 514? So the broken nose, uh, as far as I understand, based on what chat told me, don't know if it's reliable or not, but uh, the broken nose that she's claiming to have in this pic was apparently the day before the Met Gala or something, where she very clearly didn't have a broken nose at the Met Gala. Like I said, maybe a day or two later, um, and uh, my broken and nose. Oh, that nose is shattered. I mean, it, it right. never recover. Honestly. Thank you, Michelle. Can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit Five Fourteen? These are some zombie and Megatron. Oh, what, is that it? Oh, wait, Your Honor, I'm going to briefly describe for the jury what this one is. Um, that's my face. Uh, some time after um, when Johnny beat me up. Thank you, Michelle. If you could bring up your five depict Amber, could you tell the jury? Uh, this is my face, uh, sometime after. All right. Uh, let's look at defendants 516, please. Mm. Portrait. Let me no check. Okay, Amber, go ahead and explain what it is. What am I looking for? I think this is um, maybe the that night or the next night after um, Johnny left me on the bed. Is there Could like an 17? What, 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 what is that? That, hey, this is me not happy. What am I, I thought there was supposed to be like an injury or something. What is this supposed to be? She's just like extremely exhausted. Left eye maybe? There's like bags under her eyes. It doesn't. I don't, she didn't even like claim there was an injury there. She just said this is when Johnny left me. So she took a, a sad selfie, I guess. Thanks to the bits Grabinski and G Millie. That'd be pretty nuts, Grub. 
Does this accurately portray the Mr. scene Simons. depicted? Yes, it does. Move to admit defendants 517, Your Honor. No objection. 517, evidence. She was referring to a sexual assault with that picture. And please describe for the jury what this portrays. Um, that's my face after this incident. And, and what is, what's portrayed on your lip? Um, well, he busted my lip when he punched me. It's bleeding in this picture. It kept reopening, you know, it's a mouth. The lips move. Let's go to 519. Here's a tier one Everson in the gift sub. Lesions and the resub Leanne. Uh, this is my lip a few days later. Let's go to defendant's 520, please. That just looks like chapped lips. I've had many a cut on my lips and it doesn't usually heal like chapped. It just looks like chapped. Three sub retro. Does this accurately depict the scene portrayed? Yes. Move the admission to 20. Please tell the jury what's depicted here. That's my scalp with a chunk of it missing from when Johnny was dragging me by my hair. What? What in tarnation? <laughs> what? It's not a cartoon. That's not how that works. If he somehow had Hercules like strength and ripped this entire chunk out of her hair from dragging her, this would be like bleeding. There'd be like scarring. There's no. This is like an actual just like crown on her head. Like maybe a little bald spot, even. Maybe. What? I don't see any signs of, like, injury. I don't think he, like, cleanly yanked it out. That'd be nuts. Uh, in what universe? Exit the tier one plebe and tier one CO in the resub. Chimi and Uprig. Not even any redness. Yeah, exactly. That's what's so confusing. I guess maybe, like, this is ten days after an intense healing. But even still, I don't see any reality where someone drags someone by their head and takes out a chunk of their hair. Let's go to Defendant 521, Tempest. please. In Wu Tang. Mm. Let's take. Does it days later? Uh, my face is healing. Okay. Let's go to five twenty-three. This is the long admission. And did you sustain in that area? Objection. Leading. What if any? I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Um, it's what if any uh, bruising did you sustain? I, same objection. I'll sustain the objection. Did, did, did you ha did what injuries did you have? I had bruising on my temple, my chin, um, the my neck, my scalp. But the let's go to five. So, yes, ma'am, you can. Yes. And I had a pretty um, gross bruise right there in my my head, on my temple. It's difficult to see it in this light, but I remember it was pretty ugly. Now let's go to defendants 509. Yeah. All right. 
Will you please tell the jury what this is? That's the bed that Johnny broke while on top of me. What? All right, let's go to defendants 511, please. All right, but, um, just more destruction from a part of the fight that happened in the bedroom. Not the bedroom that I was um, just talking about. <clears throat> it was uh, uh, the main bedroom. There had been a, a part of the fight that happened in there too. Thanks to the, res uh, the yeah, resub fall stream crow and prime vitamin. Let's go to defendants 512, please. The 12th. Okay. Let's go to defendants 525. This um, that he left up when he, on his way out, I suppose. What does it um, say? That he Why be a fraud? All is such pussy bullshit is that what it says what is, is that what it's what does that mean why be a fraud all is such bullshit what type of riddler is this i bro i don't know i, I don't really understand what I'm actually looking at. He left up when he, on his way out, I suppose. All right. And I think defendants 526 is already in the evidence. Could you just bring that yes, up? 526 is in evidence. Right. All right. Now, 15 uh, and her and that John if twenty fifty um on loading and loan and uh do being high off was that all the pictures and they worked around nice wow that was a bombshell this hotel that we first you know co like consummated our relationship in you know as a, a when we were on the London press tour and yeah, I saw Amber Heard pose for the camera crying. Developed. Um, that was the same hotel. We were in this same room, uh, which is a Johnny liked to be in the same room. And it was really sweet. He got down on some Donatello, my knee the Prime Rex. and said, I want you to be my girl, be my girl forever. My woman, my girl. I want you to be the rest of my life. Say yes to me. Uh, he said he wanted to spend every every day. Uh, he, he promised me that every day when I woke up, that I would wake up and he would make me smile at least once, and that would be his goal. Nobody says and, that. No, nobody said what. No one has ever said that. You know, that. I, I looked into. His eyes. This is Hallmark movie stuff. I saw my future hope, you know, like blind hope. So in love. It was one of the most, I can't describe that kind of joy, you know. I thought, you know, if we were married, then this is real. This is real. This isn't a thing of. This isn't chaotic, and this will change. You know, I just, I had so much hope in that moment. Um, and I just said to him over and over again, are you serious? Are you real? Are you, are you serious? Are you sure? Because he didn't There's have a, a ring, mailman. so I thought, is this sub Alina, give some pretty in tier one fun time. My experience, Johnny, could be very impulsive. And <laughs> uh, he uh, he said over and over again, be my be my be my woman forever. I want you to be my wife, my wife, my wife. 
Um, I, of course, cried. I can tell you how it most likely went down. He, he maybe like a little tipsy, like, hey, you want to get married? I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. It was probably really simple. And not at all like this song and dance with theatrics, like, oh, I'll make you smile every day, babe. We had a wonderful evening, and I still, he left shortly after, and I was, like, the next day I had to go to work, and I was just, I couldn't tell anyone, and I wasn't sure. Part of me was worried that he didn't mean it, or, you know, or, or that he was wasn't sure. Beside you. I just didn't want it to be an impulse thing, so I didn't want to mention it. I didn't want to bring it up. I didn't want to... Um, and, and I kind of felt, I walked around for a few days like I had butterflies under my skin and then my he brought my dad out to london with my best how is this relevant in the trial my dad told me you know uh johnny is yeah asked i don't know me i'll be honest permission for your hand in marriage and and i'm i felt like the luckiest woman in the world at some point i think it's supposed to be like a sympathy thing maybe and moved to the front of the plane. And I remember getting up so slowly. I didn't want to aggravate him. I didn't want to give him any- Bro, I swear to, to God, him. Johnny's lawyer falls asleep with his eyes open every time Amber Heard speaks. Like this is a man who is not like actually in this dimension right now. He is bored out of his fucking mind and trying his best to put on like an attentive face. It's on. I didn't want to upset him. I didn't want him to flip a switch and get worse. I didn't want, I just remember very slow movements and I slowly get up and move to the front of the plane and he starts it's tier one throwing Michael Pickens, things at tier one Thomas, Ice cubes, tier one Maddie, utensils. The prime salty. He's calling me a, um, a go-getter go and then an embarrassment. Talking about what an embarrassment I am. I don't know how many times I moved seats. I wish I did. I don't. I remember moving more than once. And Johnny came to me each time, not the other way around. He sits down in front of me at one point, And because I'm not answering him, I was looking out of the window and he slaps my face. And what? His friend is in our proximity. And I, it didn't hurt my, it didn't hurt my face. It just felt embarrassed. If you do that to me in front of people. It was the first time that anything like that had happened in front of somebody. What? I... If you're gonna, like, make something up, why not make it, like, more believable? I didn't hear Johnny, I was looking at the window, so he sat in front of me and slapped me. Like, I don't even think, like, the most unhinged Arkham Asylum patient would do that. Here's the bits, Coco. <laughs> True, I guess. It was it was moving, I guess. Mm. Lengthy resub, Papa. You see the New York Times, I think, photoshopped tears. Yeah, I saw... I don't know who it was either, but I did see one of them photoshopped tears on her face. Which is f fucking adorable. Because she can't actually cry. Thanks, the resub surge. <clears throat> that was wholesome. Well, thank you, Michael. And thank you for the generosity. A better performance than an Aquaman, though. Hey, and I disagree. She was fine as Mara. This is a whole another level of awful, awful acting, though.
A news station got a body language expert that trained the FBI and she, and she, Jesus, and said she was lying. Every single thing I have seen, both from lawyers talking about how incompetent her defense attorney is, and from all of the experts, I'll put in quotes because I don't really know how great you can be consistently, have all said the same thing. This is a fucking circus and she is lying horribly with a terrible performance. I have yet to see anyone, like, actually defending Amber Heard or her claims. I'm sure it exists, but my god, it, she's making it so hard for anybody at all to take her side. Is it Prime Queasy and the Bits Coco? Oh yeah, Matt's dad said he's up for it, so we just need to do that at some point soon. Didn't her friend get kicked from the stand and banned from court? I have no idea. You're asking the wrong guy. I didn't see that. Look on the Twitter hashtag about defending her. Thanks, Arisa Medora. Actually, I will. Let me see. What do I type in to find it? Justice for Amber. Okay. The top post in the Justice for Amber tweet is calling her out on one of her lies. <laughs> that's that's the number one tweet here. Are you sure that's where I find it? Thanks, Theresa Bo, Carson, and Bass. This is Amber Heard three days after she got dragged in broken glass and raped by a liquor bottle, which I'm assuming is something she said in her testimony, and it's a video of her practicing her dance routine for whatever she's working on here. So I'm assuming with the time... Like, it's so weird that she'd try and use specific dates when you can easily counteract that since she's such a public figure. There are records of where she was on dates near that. It's stand, it's I stand with Amber Heard. Oh, there it is. I still don't see anyone defending her. The top posts are still just calling her out on different lies. Where where are you seeing this? I don't see any of it. Even on Twitter, the place where you can find the most brain-rotted troglodytes, I don't see anyone standing up for Amber Heard. There's a Twitter account. Okay, let me look at that one then, if this compiles it. Oof. Oof. Yeah, okay, I found one. Thanks, the resub dire joker in games. The Depp Herd Trial this is from a checkmark account. The Depp Herd Trial is a festival of misogynistic hate. 
To all those engaged in the dehumanization of a courageous individual who's defending her name and her history against institutionalized abuse, I don't know how you live with yourself. She is very courageous. And the only one with a history of abuse is her. She abused her last partner. What do you, like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, what? There's, it's not misogynistic to call out someone who has a history of these kind of things. She was literally arrested for a domestic assault. In 2008, 2009, what was it when we looked it up? Like, what, like, what do you mean? There's a subreddit, Duvoy. Okay, well, hold on. I'm sticking on Twitter for a second. Yeah, this is kind of wild. Okay, well, we found one at least. Let's resub Samantha in games. Wild. Oh, the Eve Barlow account is the same person who was removed from court. That's who I was reading. She, wait, she was banned from court? Hey, Liana. Yeah, that sounds about par for the course for TikTok, but I think a lot of those are troll accounts. Yeah, for up to five years. <laughs> oh, what a reliable source, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> We need to be real, though. They're both strange people. Oh, I don't think Johnny Depp is, like, some kind of super saint who's never done anything weird. That's not the point. But I don't think he has ever abused Amber Heard, at least not based on everything we've seen. I think everyone in Hollywood's fucking weird. I think they're all up to some really fucking degenerate weird shit. Thanks, Arisa Breadgod and... Hasaki and Lunatrix. Good luck. And yeah, Moist Meter for Doctor Strange will be up tomorrow. I'm surprised nobody is mad that Depp is doing NFTs. Oh, don't tell me that. I'm about to change my whole stance here in a second. Johnny Depp's doing NFTs. Never fear truth. Johnny Depp is selling his art as NFTs. Johnny Depp is selling over 10,000 unique NFTs drawn from his paintings of friends and personal heroes. Okay, I will say I fucking hate NFTs. I think you all know that very well by now. At the very least, these are things he has created in the past and is just selling as NFTs now. A little more palatable. Better than just starting up like a board ape kind of thing. At least it's his own art that he has made in the past in the physical world. Still dog shit though, still don't like NFTs, but as far as NFTs go, that's about the best it can get. Thanks to the resub mob, Gaga, Darius, Hunt in the Prime, Tuli, and Char. Let me give some mayor. Is there any other is there any other clips I should watch to catch up? Hey Forky, good to see you again. Uh today seemed even worse for her to be honest. We've only watched a little bit, but my god. 
Thanks to the resub Conquistador. The Amber Bottle one. Watch that one. Where was that one? <clears throat> oh, this? I'm on the countertop. They had me by the neck. And he felt like he was on top of me. And I'm, lo I, I'm looking at him in his eyes. And I don't see him anymore. I don't see him anymore. It wasn't him. It was black. I've never been... So scared of my life. It was, it was black. I couldn't see him. And he was looking at me, and I was trying to get through to him. I was trying to say to him in some way that it was me. I was trying to get through to. I said three gifts of aquatic. And and I, couldn't see him. I couldn't see him at all. McZizzle and the Prime and Belina and Tier One Nathan. My head was bashing against the back of the bar, and I couldn't breathe. And I remember trying to get up, and I was slipping on the glass. My feet were slipping. My arms were slipping on the countertop. And I remember just trying to get up so I could breathe, so I could tell him that he was really hurting me. I didn't think he knew what he was doing. I don't know how. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry. Man, nary a tear was shed. I couldn't breathe. Please. I don't know. Man, even I can, like, get some tears out if I really try. What is going on? I don't want to do this. She's supposed to be a professional. I couldn't... I couldn't breathe. I couldn't get through to him. I couldn't... I couldn't get up. I couldn't get up. And I don't know how that ended. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know what happened next. <gasps> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think a little tear squeaked out on the right eye. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, sports fans. I won't. I can't, I can't tell. I can't tell. The next thing I remember, I always been over um, backwards on the bar, meaning my chest was up. I was staring at the blue lights, and my chest was on this. My back was on the countertops, and I thought he was punching me. I thought he was. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he was. His, I felt this pressure. I felt this pressure. He, oh, my pubic bone. He thought he was punching me. I just saw his arm. I could feel his arm. God, this is painful to watch. Holy shit. There's you some Stoltex and Ralph. Holy shit. I this pressure. It was like... If it kept hitting it, it didn't feel pain. It was just a pressure on my pubic bone. And I don't know... Jesus Christ. I, I don't remember what I said. I just remember being really still. Thanks, Arisa. Acro and Rhinox. I remember looking around the room. I remember looking at all the broken bottles. Broken glass. And I remember that it's just not wanting to move because I didn't know if it was broken. I didn't know if the bottle 
but that he had inside me was broken. I couldn't feel it. I couldn't feel it. I didn't feel pain. Please show evidence. I didn't feel pain. I didn't feel anything. I just... Uh, I didn't know. Uh, there, so again, if there was any evidence she provided at any point across any period over the last, like, six years that actually shows any kind of abuse from Depp, a story like this would be... Ex well, maybe not the way she tells it, would be more believable. But she hasn't shown anything. The only thing that keeps happening is she keeps getting exposed for lies that she caught that she gets caught in. Such as the covering up bruises with her specific makeup kit that she always apparently used to cover up her bruises. When the makeup company came out and said that she is lying, that palette never existed in the time period she said she used it. Like, she just keeps getting caught on so many lies. So... Uh, a fucking wild story like this one, it sounds straight out of like Clockwork Orange or something, is just extremely hard to believe. And especially with the way she tells it. It seems so insincere and so forced. Thanks to the resub, Nastiest and Nate's two gift subs, Joe. Like, god damn. And yeah, I did see she was able to squeak out a single tear so far, so that's that's good. Want it? I didn't. I looked around and I saw so much broken glass that I didn't know if he would know. You see her pose for that if photo. I think it's actually I, during this. I did see that clip, and I think it's coming I didn't up right know now. Would, no. Thanks for some ghosty in Rome. Not, and I just remember thinking, please God, please make this. A I hope it's not broken. I don't know how that ended. I don't know how I got off the countertop. I, I just remember it being in the bathroom. I remember retching. I remember the sound my voice was making. I remember I lost control my bladder. I remember just retching. I remember there was blood on the floor. There's pictures. Uh, I, I just read what you said, Chica. We looked at those pictures. They look highly unlikely to be actual bruises or anything. And apparently, again, take with a grain of salt because I didn't really look into it very much, was from a couple sources speculated to be faked and the whole thing with like a patch of her hair missing from him dragging her by the the hair is absolutely unbelievable to me i like the patch of hair she shows in her picture that is missing looks more like a crown or a small bald spot as opposed to someone yanking someone by the hair and somehow ripping out a massive fucking chunk like, that's just not something that actually happens to the human scalp. Unless it's like an iron grip, or if he was pulling her one by one, like, one strand of hair, and when that broke, he grabbed another strand. Like, that's the only way. Thanks for the resub, Dak. Um, I'm gonna give some mirror. I got up. <laughs> At some point. In the bits sale. I don't know how it happened that to my night buddy ended. Eric one time. Damn sorry to hear that. I don't remember. It's rough Eric. What happened? I don't remember. I have a memory of him begging me not to leave. I remember going outside the front door. I remember him coming out to the front area, but I, I, I don't remember if that was before or after this. I, I don't remember. I just have that memory. I remember uh, taking a bunch of sleeping pills. Not a bunch, like two, which is a lot for me. <clears throat> I remember falling asleep or I don't so know when is the cross-examination? Because I woke up the next day. Um, I assume it was late morning. 
10 days. Um, he... Damn, I was a long downstairs. time away. Uh, I could hear Marilyn Manson um, music, not in person. I could hear the music. Maybe he said it was Marilyn, or maybe I could uh, recognize it. I don't remember, but I became aware of it. That's what I was hearing. It was blaring. What? It became clear, obvious to me when I walked downstairs. He was still up. He hadn't gone to sleep again. Um, I uh, walked downstairs, and I saw this um, brown on the walls going down the stairs and the brown on the walls became clear like it became clear like lettering and then it was obvious it was uh, dried blood huh he had written down this that we had a spiral staircase like white cream walls uh, there's blood uh, on the carpet um, I could see blood drips uh, I, I thought it was from my arms or feet, but it was drips. So that plus the wall writing, I saw this brown letters on the wall and then realized that he was trying, that, that it was a, meant to be a message, but it was incoherent. Um, I saw what looked like my name, um, but I really couldn't uh, make out my, most of the rest of the message walking down the stairs. Oh. Uh, I saw a bird in the house. I thought that was surreal. I went down to the main level where my painting studio was, and I had some canvases out, and it was in the living room area. And oh, by the time I got down to the bottom of the stairs, um, the the dried blood had been kind of taken over by paint. It was um, blue, navy blue paint, and then brown paint. <clears throat> what is happening? What? Do you, and, what? Uh, what? It was, you know, on the walls, on the um, lampshades, pillow uh, pillowcases of the of the sofa, the sofa cu cushions. There was blood in the painting studio. The paint, my canvases have been covered with what looked like just brown, blue, green, red mess. It was just a, a mess. Thank you, some toxin and bishop. Had, uh, you know, a, a painting that the owners had. That no had, idea, um, poison. Make sure you some taxi. Giant penis on it, and you know some other things. Was a table overturned? A bunch of broken glass on that. On that. Nice prime twitch. Floor. I walked downstairs where I heard the music coming from, and that's where I found him, um, blaring this music. He was in the study, which is in the by the bar games table area off to the side and it was just glass and blood and broken windows and a broken window and it just what just happened there oh my god we lost her well that sounds plausible if if it's the movie I know what you did last summer, I guess. Jesus Christ, what? <sighs> oh god damn, thank you for the six K bits again, Strats. You've been so fucking generous the last two days, man. Thank you. And yeah, it's wild. It's the prime Robbie and Marbles and Madrigal and Francis. <clears throat> Yeah, this is pretty fucking wild. Oh my god. Don't remember much after that, but then proceeds to remember all of this in great detail. Yeah, apparently when it comes to the severing of Johnny Depp's finger, she can't remember what she did, but somehow she's able to remember all of this. As well as every thought she had verbatim, apparently. I guess that's very convenient. Thanks to Prime Cyber in the resub for Caddy and Mustache. Oh, 
Man, they must have got hit with an EMP or something at the courthouse. It, it still hasn't come um, back. Oh, there we go. I, I think he took them down. Thanks for fucking yourself, Josh. He said, look what you made me do. I did this for you. <laughs> something to that effect. And I kind of put together, it was covered in paint. And I put together that that's, like, he was using his finger. I quickly became aware that that's what he was using as a paintbrush, even though there was lots of paintbrushes around. Um, and we didn't have any sort of like coherent conversation, as you can imagine. Um, I figured out he was missing a finger. He kind of held it up, and I said, "What did you do? When? Like, what? What did you do? When?" And I realized in my head that there had been many hours since this probably happened, assuming that that was the happened with the phone uh, in any case I I knew it had been way too long that he had had this blood you know that he was bleeding and I, I said I'm gonna call 911 if you don't call Jerry now uh, I don't I still don't recall which of us um, called Jerry Judge his security he's a tier one scrub um, at some point, we went upstairs. I, I, he came upstairs, but he went up to the third floor while I was in the main floor, the, the entry level floor. I went to make him a cup of coffee because he was demanding more Red Bull. And I was thinking, that's probably not a good idea. I don't know why coffee would be so much better, but in my head, it was. What? What? Uh, what? What? What are you saying? I thought maybe, I don't know, sober him up or I, I don't know. There was help was coming, though. And I remember I made him coffee. As soon as I handed it to him, he threw it at the TV and started screaming again. It was like back to back to square one. Shortly after that, security arrives. Um, I, I don't know how long, maybe a few seconds or minutes went by, not not long, but they kind of find Johnny, or Johnny finds them walking out of the front door, and they were Sponsored trying to figure out what testimony. was going on, and as they were kind of looking at him and I, and trying to figure out what the heck was going on, Johnny took his um, penis out of his pants and started pee, tr trying to pee or peeing outside of the house saying that he had more messages for me. Whoa. And this is in front of security. And they kind of just like Whoa. looked at each other and looked at him and kind of <laughs> not laughed, but kind of what? half, you know, played it off and corralled him. It was how, how it looked. It looked like corralling a wild animal back into the house with, you know, with his penis still out of his pants. So is this, okay, is this what that phone call was with Johnny Depp's security guy where his lawyer was like, have you ever seen Johnny Depp's penis? And he was like, no. Is that what this is in reference to? Oh my God. What the fuck? What kind of strategy was that? Something that is so easily disproven by the people that were there. I feel like there's no way her legal team told her, like, greenlit this idea. I think she got lost in the sauce and the storytelling and just started, like, fucking going wild. Like, entering this flow state of just pulling actual nonsense together. Because right now, we have got the most detailed description of, like, an actual nightmare looty bin. She comes downstairs after being sexually abused by what could be a broken bottle... And she sees blood and, and brown poop on the walls, I guess, mixed with blue paint, which has gone to other paint canvases. And some of the paintings are penises, I guess. And more blood. And then Johnny Depp is missing a part of his finger, but isn't getting help for it. So he asks for Red Bull, but Amber Heard decides coffee's better. So she's making him a coffee, and then security's coming. And then he's whipping his dick out to piss and says, I have more message f messages for you with my piss. After he had already written what she believes to have been her name on the wall in his blood and poop and blue paint. Holy shit. What a... Man, what an awful morning, huh? Gotta hate Mondays, I guess. 
Thanks to Tier 1 Big Daddy and the resub Australian Phineox and the Prime Sad, Ozzy Man, Impish, Terp, and the Bits Coco and Horizon. Sounds like Moonfall. Unironically does sound like Moonfall. Oh, right. He painted with his severed finger. That's what it was. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Painted with, painted with his severed finger. Peeing or trying to pee. That's what he was indicating. And he went to the wall of the house. And I remember him standing at the wall trying to leave me more, saying he was going to, he had more information for me. He was going to leave me more message, uh, more messages, more, more information for me. It made no sense. And, um, Jerry Judge, his security, and one, one of Deviant, the uh, of Mars, nurses to give uh, shortly after, I, th I think they put me in the theater room, but I, I, shortly after I remember talking to one of the nurses and she was trying to give me drugs to sedate Objection, me. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. Trying to give her drugs. She no, didn't say anything. The, the, Thank okay. you. Keep going. Um, and... I, I also, I gotta her. say, Depp's lawyer is like one for eight on these hearsay calls. So she's she's not exactly batting a thousand either. Uh, I just remember crying and rejecting what they were trying to give me. And fighting with them about Things are sub -web how much they to give me. I, I felt like I needed to she gets better? figure okay. out what, the, what, what was happening with my life. What was happening with Johnny... I didn't know if he was okay. I, I didn't know. I, I actually had no Objection idea. Objection poop. Like, could this be something <laughs> he could die from? If anything, just the, the drugs and the alcohol. I mean, that alone. I, I didn't, you know, I, I, was, I, was, I just remember sca being scared and being in this theater room, this dark theater room, and not knowing what the heck was going on. Uh, and uh, I eventually was taken up to my room by uh, one of the nurses, uh, and they, uh, I, I'm sorry, Be Debbie, and, or, or suggesting I go up to my room. I went up to my room, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I took um, a quarter of what she was trying to get me to take, and you some I wall? eventually fell asleep. No idea, Norito. I came back downstairs. Um, to look for my phone, which Johnny had picked up before security came in. Jesus um, Christ, everyone here wants to suck Johnny Depp's, Johnny Depp's cock? Bro, what? No, it's just this story is goddamn wild. Like, this is some of the most f fucking fire fanfic I've ever heard. Like, this shit is crazy. This is putting Fifty Shades of Grey to shame right now. Like, this shit is going so insano style right now. It is wild my phone and said we're going to get to the bottom of this he wasn't making any sense at the time I, understandably just a different nothing made sense but he picked up my phone and was saying we're going to get to the we're going to i'm going to prove this we're going to get to this we're going to get to the proof of this something to that effect i don't remember his exact words you um and he pushed record on my phone i didn't actually at the time think that he had done that i i I, um, I, I had no idea, but I did know that I didn't have my phone when I woke up and went downstairs to get it. It was dead. It was sitting out on the, the um, dining room table by where Jerry Judge was sitting. Jerry Judge was on the phone and talked to me, and I went up, back up to bed. Nice resub, Hobbit. Took more of this um, sedative and fell asleep. Um, and then I think the next day... Uh, went to the closet and took out the clothes that he hadn't painted on. I guess when he went back upstairs, he had um, just like, it looked like what he had done is dip his hand in a bucket of paint and just wiped it on my clothes. Just went and he had picked up another portion of my clothes and put them in the bathtub. And what? I don't know if he added paint or if he just was, had touched them with paint, but it was this ugly navy blue brown paint. Um, I packed what was hackable well hadn't been destroyed and um and, and and eventually left australia with uh with ben king who you met so okay i feel like this would be a great opportunity oh it's also over i feel like this would have been a great opportunity for a witness 
So apparently there were people here who must have seen the bloody, poopy, blue painting on everything and would be able to attest to it, right? Be like, yeah, he really did do that. This is true. This is a real thing. Is there anyone that says that that happened? None? Jerry Judge is dead. Oh, rough. Depp's team brought Bin, Kin, Bin King, which was the butler at the time. And did he see any of the bloody, poopy paintings? There are apparently pictures. Did they show them? Oh, I guess they wouldn't show them yet, would they? Is there pictures? Because I feel like that would be something where there'd absolutely be someone taking pictures. Right? There is? Where can I find it? There's me some foxy. Right, here, let me look it up. How about this? Johnny Depp trial shown messages he scrawled in blood and paint after severing his finger in the vod vodka bottle fight. Is it this? Is it this? Search poop in Google. Okay. So is this what she's talking about? Because that certainly doesn't look like blood. It absolutely does look like the scribblings of a madman, though. And it's also not blue or brown. It's black and red. And the mirrors to the right... Thanks to Resub Cock in the Tier 1 String Bean and the Prime Unwanted Swimmer in the Resub Foxy. Mirrors to the right. That's not in this one. Oh, wait, here's one. So this? Oh, hold on. <clears throat> that looks even less like blood. Even dried blood. Let me see resub Nemo. Not this one. He did write in his blood he testified to it. Did he? Well, where? Where? Where did he say that? After writing on walls, the blood had kind of dried, as it were, and so I stuck my finger into a can of paint and mineral spirits to put my verbal messages onto the wall. Okay. So then he actually did paint on the walls then. Holy lord, what a crazy fucking story. Alright, so that... I guess happened. Oh, thank you for the raid. Hope you had a great stream, Baruzi. Oh, welcome.
So it looks like those two are the only two pictures of it. So that confirmed he wrote weird messages on walls. Nothing about the abuse side that I can see here, but apparently that crazy story about him writing goofy shit on walls is true here. Doesn't exactly fit what she described, but more or less, it is weird. How long do you usually stream? Yeah, like four or five hours. You see all the broken glass, hole in the wall, and blood on the floor. We saw the picture she showed of, like, a single, like, vodka bottle on a floor, but that was it. Is the resub puff and ghosty? Here, what if I'd be a little more specific? Let's see. Uh, court shown photos of Johnny Depp passed out on floor. Yeah, that sounds about par for the course, to be honest. That I have no doubt. Is the resub hitman? Hey, have a good night, man. His finger looks nice now, though. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Nice. <laughs> Wait, this doesn't even look like he's passed out. This, this actually just looks like me when I fall asleep on, like, a car ride. She just took pictures of him sleeping. <laughs> Alright. That still didn't bring up what I was looking for. Thanks for five gift subs, Paleo. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for some oyster and scar. We're not doing YouTube night tonight. I was just catching up on this wi wild case. Oh, here's the hair picture that people were telling me about, where apparently a, he somehow tore out this much of her hair by dragging her by her hair. Which I don't even know how that's possible. That makes no fucking sense to me. At all. This also doesn't look like... Any... If you yanked out a chunk of someone's hair, I don't think it would fall into a perfect bundle like this either. Not even from the root. Oh, true. Yeah, there'd be there'd definitely be like a little bit of blood on like the ends right near the root where they ripped out the follicle. Yeah, it definitely looks like it was just more cut. Yeah. That whole thing I genuinely think is the stupidest fucking thing I've heard so far. Well, not the stupidest, but definitely up there. I don't see at all what the chatter was talking- Well, a couple chatters were talking about with, like, blood on the floor. I haven't seen that, and I think we've seen every pick. <clears throat> hey, Rizzo, thanks for the resub, man. And the resub head it in Noscats. And the tin gift subs ghost. Thank you, ghost. Uh so I'm just assuming that's not there, but maybe it is. He's a tier one dummy boy. Yep, we were talking about moist esports in the RLCS the entire beginning of the stream. So